We learn from our mistakes. This is a sentence we have heard many times in our life, a sentence which affects our living and permits us to see the glass half full when we make mistakes. So, the wrong things done in the past will teach us the right way to take decision the next time. So now, let's look at this picture. Well, what does it represent? It represents the stereotype of this dictatorship, a man which affects other folks. So, we have, here we don't have a man, because we can't call him like, like that. He's a, not an ordinary human being, he's Adolf Hitler, who is the, one of the most famous dictators ever exists in history. If we think about what it is, we can't be happy about it yet. Because, uh, let me remind you actually that he wiped out 6 million people, mostly Jewish, after imprisoning them into, a con into concentration camps built by his army and by the prisoners. Yeah. He changed the majority of German minds and uh, he brought books and he tried to hold the power just making what he, what he was usual to do. Let's look at this other picture. What does it represent? Well, it represents um, Hitler's holy. In fact, it's a similar, it's a similar picture. Um, it represents Benito Mussolini, who is talking to Italians. There's a difference between these two pictures, because uh, Mussolini also did a lot of good things to better Italy, so to improve its economy and to promote progress into his country. But what's the point in common between these two pictures? Well, Mussolini also tried to manipulate people's minds in Italy and uh, this is so another historical example of how he changed the, the thoughts of his country, of how a leader could change this country. What are the reasons why I'm giving you such direct example? Well, it's very simple. As I've already said, Propaganda is still very used nowadays under different kind of form, such as advertisement. On top of that, many people consider advertising as a useful tool to get the right information about the product they want, about the decision, the decision they want to make, and so on. But how can we try to fight persuasion in order to not be convinced by media to buy a product we don't want to buy? So, that's difficult if you think that advertise this technique is still largely used nowadays. But the key to success is just hesitation. Because if you hesitate, you have more time to think about the decision you want to take. And so you can get feedbacks, you can get the right information, and you can get all this with discretion, obviously. And this is very helpful for you when you want to take decisions. And yeah, usually when you hesitate, you have more time to think about it and to not be affected by any other one's thoughts. But now I want to focus on why is it important to think outside the box. Well, sometimes it happens you are not informed about an argument, so you do not seem ignorant to the others, you just tell something you are over from other people. And maybe that thing is also is also wrong. And yeah, here comes the mistake. Because we have to think with our mind. So let's change this word from its stereotypes and let's kill prejudices. So now that I came to the conclusion of my talk, I would like to make you reflect about all the times you pulled out of the one's paths. And this path maybe brought you to bad consequences. And yeah, just try to think how it could have been different if you have followed your own path, your own mind. Yeah, it could have been different, but then you made a mistake. But remember, mistakes are important because mistakes make us stronger, mistakes makes us, make us more autonomous. And so remember, Let's learn from our mistakes.